Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating flyers using Canva.com. If you're not quite sure what Canva.com is, Canva.com is a wonderful multiple tool for graphic designing. So you're going to be able to design your Facebook post, your Instagram stories, your t-shirts, business cards, you can do letterheads, you can even do your CVs or your resumes as well. And you can even do, well, anything that you want, honestly. Uh, so uh, Canva.com is this wonderful tool that is just perfect for your use. Now, they do offer 30 days for the pro features. So take a look at that, try that out, and you can do that in the description below. There's a link there. Click on that link, go sign up, and take full advantage of this while you can without spending a dime. All right. While you're there, do subscribe. Drop a comment, let me know what you would like to see in upcoming videos, and check out some of our other videos once you subscribe. You're going to find a lot of useful tips and tricks that's going to help you be that professional. All right, so let's get started, shall we? So we have Canva, the logo here in the upper left-hand side. Now, of course, from that, we're going to have templates. If you remember me, if you caught our last videos, you know that I love templates. I love templates because if you can, you can either change it to how you want it, or you can kind of customize it with a blank page just underneath it, and you can delete it later or however you want or however you see fit. So templates really give you a lot of fresh ideas, especially with color, with color palettes when you have designs, pictures, ideas. So all of these are really going to explode your imaginative juices, right? So you're going to be able to get in there and really throw everything together really quickly, really cool. And, and have a lot of cool different uh, things. So let's take a look now under templates. You're going to find the flyers underneath marketing, right? Uh, so the flyers are really going to be good for when you are <clears throat> trying to promote your business, when you're trying to give a new discount, a certain event. Uh, if you're looking for your lost dog or something like that, flyers are really perfect. Now, when you look down here, now, you're going to be able to see that there's a browse by categories, so like marketing, business, right, birthdays, summer camps, church, again, sales, uh, modern, and you can kind of select these, and it will take you to all of these by category. Now, you also have filters. Now, the filters, you can select more than one and kind of like bring that down. So if you're going to do like a sales for your theme and then the style, you won't be like a minimalist or illustration or photo. You can, and even by the color. So you can kind of filter that out to find it. Now, when you find one and it looks pretty cool, if you're just kind of browsing here from without actually zooming in on it, you can hit the heart and you can kind of save it to your likes, add it to likes. Uh, if you uh, want to do a couple of them, just kind of go back later and then choose, you can. Now, of course, it's the same thing with the heart uh, as you are kind of scrolling down. Let's see, let's find one really quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, music. oh, here we go. Happy hour. Uh, all right. And when you come up here, you can actually say I've hearted it. You can share it if you want to send it to a friend as well. And you can kind of give their ideas as well. Let's see. It's 100% fully customizable. Edit and download on the go. Share and publish. Write millions of images. And it goes through. This is everything here. We're going to customize this template. So we're going to let it load. And let's see what happens. All right. Now, I have really bad eyesight, so I'm going to let it zoom in. And I'm going to come down here to this little slide bar, and I'm going to slide it in just where I can see a little bit better. All right, great. So I don't care for the colors. We're going to change that. We're going to change a few things here uh, as well. So you can see right here the blue lines when I hover over it, the elements. So an element, if you're not quite sure what an element is, an element is something that you're placing on the page. So an element typically could be even the text, honestly, but an element is mostly for like pictures or shapes or something like that. So we're going to call it element. So everything that you see here that gets highlighted in blue is your element. Now the borderline, so the outside of this is what you have to work with. This is your space. This is like your page or your piece of paper or your canvas, however you want to see it. All right. You can see here it says logo. Uh, if you've created logos, and another good reason to kind of subscribe to us, because we did a video on how to create a logo, uh, so it saves on your Canva.com. So do take advantage of that, too, and go and check that out and make your logo and save it. So if you're continuing to create things, like, for example, 
what you have here, your logo for your business. You can use it for your flyers. You can use it for your business cards. You can use it for your CV even. Uh, you can do it for your job applications that you're creating on here. Uh, so you're always going to be able to have that. All right, so uh, you can see this is the text box. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to hit backspace. And even this, because I'm going to place my logo, you're going to find your logo in the far left hand side under logo. You can see here, now I've uploaded Pexels, this, Flickr, right? Uh, I'm going to find my logos and this is what I uploaded. If you haven't uploaded, you can upload it here by clicking on this and it will take it from either if you're using your Pixabay account, if you're using it from your computer, you can upload it from those accounts as well. But here, I already have it done, so I'm just going to drag and drop. Now, obviously, my logo is much bigger than what is needed, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to drag, and I'm going to drop center. Now, if you notice, as I'm dragging it, you can see that purple line in the center? That's just letting me know. And once I get it, like, dead center, you're going to see two purple lines. So it's really going to help you kind of make it uh, in par with everything. So we'll bring it up. And I'm going to put it at the top of the page. All right. And there we go. Now, if you don't want to uh, have this, you can put the name of your business in some kind of fashion way, however you want. Uh, so you can do that. So I'm just going to put my logo there. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to make sure it's in line. There we go. It's perfect. All right, now, uh, happy hour. I don't want to call it happy hour. I want to call it a little different. I'm going to say the drinking hour. And you can see that it is not quite right, and it's because my font is too big. So to change the font size, you're going to come up here, and you can see right here 102 font size and I'm going to click the minus and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and there we go one more all right now I'm done with that now if I want to bring this up I'll just click and drag it up and I can move it just a little bit now this is changing the text that's already here of course if you want to add a text go over to the same toolbar and don't worry so all of these are going to be the same so again, if you've heard me say it, and you're going to hear me say it a million more times, but everything stays the same. So if you're designing a Facebook post, t-shirt, business cards, letterhead, anything, all of your tools are going to be exactly the same here on the left-hand side, which are very easy to find. So the interface is fantastic. You're going to have a wonderful time with that. So if you create and play with one, one style of designing something, it's going to stay the same for you. Nothing changes, except if you're doing like some kind of videos for a post, uh, you're going to embed, and it's still the tools are still the same. So like videos here, all the tools are the same. All right, so uh, we have changed the font size. We can change the font writing, for example, like this. And you can just select one, drinking hour. I like that one a little bit better. Uh, and great, it's cool. All right, so now I want to go not to, I want to go to the effects. Uh, and we can do, now this is the style of the shadow, right, this is the lift, right, the shadow, and you can see, like, none of them, you can do that now, let's see, the shadow is pretty cool, but I'm going to do the lift, you can even make it like a neon, here, uh, I really like the neon, and you can do the glitch too, I like the neon, drinking hour, there we go, that's pretty cool, I like that, and when you double click, I'm just going to make a space, here, and now you can kind of see it in the background. All right, there we go. Drinking hour. There we go. Now uh, we can leave that. And we're just going to drag here. Buy one, get one, right, free entry. All right, and you can change that too. Uh, the same, you can say. Uh, let's see here, let's change that name just a little bit. Uh, let's say get one half price. All right, buy one, get one half price, free entry, etc. So you can kind of see. Now you can see that it makes that circle uh, a little bit weird. So I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Right? All right, and okay. Uh, Sunday, we can change that. We're going to just change the text here.
Saturday. All right, starting from 7 to 11 p.m. There we go. Now, this is, again, this is just for like a bar, uh, which is cool. All right, but uh, we're going to change it up a bit. Now, you can see that you have like these sprinkles. I'm going to delete them too. Uh oh, see, we made a mistake. And if you make a mistake, you can come up here to undo, click undo, and there we go. Now, uh, I need to click exactly on the element. There we go. And delete. There we go. All right. And if you want to change the font color, you can too by clicking on the text color. <laughs> there we go. Let's leave it at that. And I'm going to change the background color too. Now, when you see when I clicked on this, the borderline of this background, uh, now you have animations, which are not so great for the flowers. You can, it's cool, whatever. But if, if you're going to use the same flower for your Instagram, for some kind of social media post, you can do that. Uh, so you can actually make that where uh, you are going to post it and it's going to have some kind of animations where it's going to fly in, fly out, really grab your attention. Uh, and then you can save it as a PNG or a JPEG file uh, for printing it uh, and then make another copy uh, of this the same by saving it as an MP4. So you can, and speaking of saving, uh, anytime you're doing something, if you look here besides share, it's the name of your file. Uh, so change that, especially uh, if you are going to save. If you're going to save it as two different files, so just change it each time you download it, uh, so that way you have it as an MP4 and a uh, JPEG, uh, or anytime honestly change that so you can find it faster and easier. All right, so back to changing the color. Once you click on here, uh, you can see that you have two options when you have this borderline. Uh, the options here are animations, as we spoke about, and the color. Now, I can change the color to like a gray, which I like better, and then you can change the same with the other. Now, the background page, uh, where you can see what else we have. Oh, there's a lot of gray. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, it's, of course, this can be pretty bland with just the gray flower flyers, uh, but I can change uh, a few different things and make it uh, a little bit better too by getting attention. So there we go, there's those, and now this. Alright, that's a beer bottle. Uh, so I want to change it to uh, something else, right? Uh, I'm going to hit delete. I'm not going to promote the beer necessarily, uh, but I'm going to try something else. Now, how do you find pictures, right? So come into elements. Uh, Let's say, I'm going to say drinks, and I'm going to type and enter. Now, these are cool, so check that out. This is a pro feature that you can take advantage of. And I'm going to let it just look just here. There you go. All right, that's pretty cool. And you can make it smaller. Uh-oh. We made it just a little bit difficult there. Okay. Now, there we go. Now, I'm going to drag this up because I'm not going to use it quite right here, but I'm going to move it and put it in the corner. And I do want to change the color to something maybe a little bit brighter. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, that's one of the images because now I just get that idea. And that's what's cool about when you kind of see that. I didn't even think about like making drinks. So once you take the idea, uh, or the template, you can get a lot of different ideas. Now, coming back, if I want to make it the same on the other side, I want to try that. So, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to click the same. Now, the size will stay the same, but the color won't always do that. But if you see, it's kind of like the same, it looks a little weird, or it does for me. I'm going to flip it. So, click flip, flip horizontal, and there we go. And I'm going to move it the same way here. All right, and change, well, I'll leave the color the same, actually, the pink, so that way you have two different colors, kind of the same here, you see. All right, great, so this is drinks. Now, you can use these, uh, and when you save it as a JPEG uh, file as well, or a PDF format, for example, uh, it will stay, it'll have a freeze frame, obviously. So, uh, you can use this if you like that design. Uh, let's come down, to, let's look at the different options they have. 
there's the same kind of, right, you can see, but like bubbles. And you can see the regular free ones, where are they at? I see it just says free without the crown. Uh, so you can use this without the pro features uh, trial, for example. Or, uh, but like this one with the crown on it, you need to pay for it. So you can, but if you use it in the 30 days, you get that free anyways. All right. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they have more to offer. They have a lot of different choices. So you can kind of scroll down. You can see they have some other pictures. This one too. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to make it kind of in the same style, you know, when you're looking at classic or uh, like this. And I think I already found it. Uh, there's two kind of hitting together. I just want to see what it looks like on the page. And see, as I'm still hovering, I haven't let go of it. And uh, we can kind of like see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to put that right there. Yeah, why not? All right, so let's change the color to from black. I want to grab attention again. And now, let's see. Uh, blue, okay. And it gives us a little thing here so we can change the color. It looks, okay, so typically it, we can only change this, but that's not what I want. I don't want black. So you can see what you can change, what you cannot. Uh, let's try this one. Gray again, and there we go. All right, let's try that out. Drinking our, I don't know, with a straw necessarily, but it looks like it would be some kind of soda, some kind of Pepsi, right? So something of that nature. Ah, you know what? Better yet, I have another one. And this is, again, you're, it's going to be very hard to kind of, there we go, much better, much better. Uh, you're going to have a hard time choosing. You're going to want to put so much on your page because, honestly, it's really fun to uh, to play around uh, with, the, with the designs. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do like a green because we've changed blue and purple. Uh, green doesn't look good with our background. You know what? So we're just going to stick with the blue, this light color blue. All right. And I'm going to make it just a tad smaller. And I'm going to align it with everything that I have on my page. There we go. Perfect. Aha. All right. And I'm going to play around with the colors here too. The same. And because I want to change the fonts. I just want to have some fun with them, right? So you can change them around. There we go. Kind of get some attention. There we go. All right. So you see that we have it ready to go. All right. Now this is my design. Right in here. Uh, I'm just going to drag that and drop it in the center. All right. Now, as I did promise, we'll change the text. Uh, you can come here to the text underneath photos and drag and drop and you can move it more to the same and you can see I'm trying to make it there we go perfect and hit delete and I'm gonna put uh, Irish pub up uh, we deleted it by mistake all right so be careful when doing that do double select like that Irish pub. Okay, and I'm going to double select again because I want to change the font again. And I'm going to change that to something like this. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to change that color too to this blue or, you know what, definitely green. And I'm just going to click off and click back on and click hold and pull it up. And now we can see it. All right. So now we have our design completely made. Now, how do we do that? So you can come here and click download. And you're going to change from PDF print, JPEG uh, to PNG, PDF print, SVG, all of those. Uh, when you're creating the flyers or the cards or posters, the PDF print or the 
uh, is really going to really help you. It's going to be the best. So we didn't use any animations, so of course PDF. If you do make the animations and you want to share it to like Facebook, for example, or something, choose the MP4 video. It's going to be much better. Facebook, Instagram, so forth, Twitter. I'm not sure about Twitter. I don't have one, but you get the idea, right? All right, or you can have actually they print it for you uh, by a five, a four, larger, right? So fifty copies starts at twenty dollars and fifty cents. You have twenty-five copies at seventeen, and one hundred and twenty for five hundred copies, and you can do a larger one as well uh, if you would like. So you can have them send it to your doorstep if you don't want to do it yourself. Now you can download it. You can share a link for your partners. You can do a presentation, write Instagram, all of these different options are located right here underneath the recommendations with printing options as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Do catch us back. Don't forget to subscribe, catch our next videos, leave those comments, and let me know what you'd like to see next. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time.